today on computers and beverages, I'm drinking coffee today and uh, water. So for the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 5700X 8-core 16-thread processor. It's going to cost $192.99. And this is my $1,000 awesome AMD build with the Ryzen CPU and a AMD GPU. Uh, CPU cooler, we have the ID Cooling SC214XT. It is $19.98 off Amazon, and the processor is off Amazon. All the Amazon shipping is free if you have Prime. I included thermal compound for us between the CPU cooler and CPU for good contact. Arctic Silver, silver 5, Polysynthetic Silver Thermal Paste. That's going to be $7.65 off Amazon. Uh, it's for 3.5 grams of it. For the motherboard, we have the ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming 4 slash AC full-size ATX AM4 motherboard. It is $100 of free shipping off new egg. For the memory, we have Silicon Power Gaming 16GB, 2x8GB sticks clocked at DDR4 3200MHz CL16 timing. That's going to be $33.97 off Amazon. For storage, we have a 1TB Silicon Power A60 M.2 NVMe drive, uh, PCIe 3.0, and that's going to be $43.99 off Amazon. The video card is a Gigabyte Gaming OC Radeon RX 6800 16GB GPU video card. That's coming in at $469.99 for free shipping off Newegg. For the case, I went with a red Fractal Design Focus G ATX mid tower case. It will fit the ATX motherboard and uh, it's going to be $54.99. And this is the only part that has shipping. The shipping is $10.99. For a total $65.98 off new egg. Then we have the power supply. We have the Thermaltake Smart BM2 650 watt 80 plus bronze certified semi modular ATX power supply. That comes in at $61.99 off Amazon. And finally, I added an extra case fan for the case because it only has two intake and no exhaust. So What's going to fill this role is the Fantex F120SP 54.4 CFM 120mm fan for $6 off of Newegg. The base total is $991.54. Shipping is $10.99 for the case. And for a total of just over 1000 thousand and two dollars and fifty three cents now the potential issues it might have is that the motherboard might need a BIOS update up to version P 2.20 if it's using an older BIOS upgrading the BIOS will be necessary to support the CPU um, then there's a disclaimer that some physical dimension constraints are currently not checked, such as CPU coolers and RAM clearance. And uh, that's my $1,000 awesome AMD build. Team Red. Later.